All right, let's see map two. I do club up two. Oh yeah, so it is a big ice thing. Chilled to the bone. Oh, 173 monsters. Okay, so this is double the size of the last one. Actually, I'm starting to become concerned because uh, this wad's only five maps, but it took seven months to make. So some of these later ones might get pretty grand. But we'll see. I don't hear any music. Did I break the music? Oh no, it's there. It's just really quiet. Why don't we crank that up a little bit? Because I think it was quiet... ...in the last one as well. Okay. I got a good night's sleep. And my goal for today is to just relax and enjoy myself. You know, be less hard on my own performance. And at the same time, play significantly better. Because <laughs> when I was editing the video for uh, the first level last night, that looks like it might be a secret, that button there. We'll check that out in a sec. When I was editing the video last night, I was just kind of re-examining the combat situations I was dying in. And uh, I don't think I liked my remark about my own play where I, you know, said it was embarrassing that I died somewhere. I don't think it should ever be shameful to die, A, in Doom, and B, in a fight that's designed to kill you. You know, and sometimes things look really easy because there aren't many monsters there, but it's the lack of space and firepower that really decides how difficult something's going to be. It's like map 5 of Augur Zenith. Uh, Mega City Vengeance, I think it's called. Is really busy. Like, it's just full of bodies. You're killing stuff non-stop. But it's really easy because you have rockets and a super shotgun and a plasma gun. And plenty of room to move around. So someone might watch that and think, Oh, this must be really hard because look at all this stuff you have to fight. But it's not. Oh my god, there's a super shotgun. I'm so excited. But then they look at this and they go, Wow, look how sparse this is. This must be easy. But it's actually pretty easy to die. Just because uh, you don't have the space that you need. Or you're using a vanilla shotgun or chain gun. I want to kill this guy, but I'm not sure it's worth it. Anyway. The point is, <laughs> I don't want to, oh these guys, I don't want to die in a situation and remark of my own play that it was embarrassing and then, you know, somebody watching died at the same part and then it's like I'm saying that they should be embarrassed by that. And I don't think they should be. I'm not for that, so I'm going to try to fight my instinct to be really hard on myself all the time. Uh, this looks really nice though, by the way. And those monsters there, if you haven't played Ancient Aliens, and you should, uh, they're another custom enemy where they're paper thin, but they kind of go mostly invisible and move around really fast. And then they get stationary when they shoot to try and hit you with plasma. This is really cool. I guess we're deactivating one force field at a time as we go through here. Loving having the super shotgun. And I also love these like pods that the aliens are in. They're not demons in this, they are extraterrestrials. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit of soundtrack hyping me up. This is great. Can't wait to die. Okay, there's a lot of gunners there. Let's make space for ourselves before we go out. <laughs> that was unfortunate. But I'm not embarrassed. Man, this is a pretty bumpin' track now that we've got it playing in the background. It's also a chill level so far. Looks good. And I gotta keep an eye out for those secrets. Excuse me, sir! This is fun. I'm really liking this so far. Okay, we got a dark cave. Seems a little foreboding. A dead Doom Marine there. 
left as a warning to future Doom Marines. My dad used to do that with deer flies. <laughs> Kill a deer fly and leave the corpse on his body while he lied out on the beach as a warning to the other deer flies. <laughs> oh crap! Whoa, I didn't even see that Mancubus there. It's a lucky last call. Well, again, we're not being hard on ourselves, but I do feel like I'm playing a lot better today. I'm more comfortable with how this is going than what was happening yesterday. I think I just needed a good night's sleep, and I also needed to just chill out a bit. Oh. Man, I like these little icicles, little stalactites that hang down. Do the, slack, the stalactites go down, or the stalagmites? I think it's stalactites come down, because the C is for ceiling. Is that right? Okay, so we've been here before, we're just up on the cliff now. Oh, I see, so we're kind of... We're activating all these beacon-style things. Okay, I gotcha. I feel like there's probably a secret over here. We'll turn this beacon on, see what happens. Oh, it's these guys. Okay, this is actually really dangerous. I want the chain gun, please. Okay, luckily there weren't that many. I thought more were gonna come in from behind. Those guys will perch a bad. And then we've got... I guess we took down that other force field with this button. Berserk? Yeah, that's definitely a secret. So there's only one more. Okay. Suddenly, I believe in myself. You know what I really am impressed about by Ancient Aliens? And by extension this, because it's using the same monsters and textures. Um is the custom monsters. Can't work with that panel. I feel like the Doom community is so ridiculously good at making maps, like their level design, whoops, is just phenomenal. If you compare it to the original, oh boy! <laughs> Sneaky. If you compare it, I have no idea what those things are. Holy crap. They look like beefed up revenants. Okay, we might take a death here because I don't know what those are. Or are they just a reskin of the Revenant? Well, I guess we'll find out. But yeah, the Doom community is so good at level design. It's absurd. All the kind of prolific mappers are just making AAA game studio quality stuff, or better. But the monster design, I feel, is lacking. When you, when you play against a custom monster, they're usually just really poorly balanced. And they don't add anything interesting to the combat. They're just like some huge freak of nature that's gonna take you a million years to kill. But in Ancient Aliens, I think those kind of exploding barrel flying guys add an interesting element, right? A monster you don't want to be close to when you kill them. Uh, and those little plasma guys are nice too. It's just another source of plasma damage. They move really quick, but they're stationary when they're shooting. Paper thin. I'm scared of what's about to happen. So it feels very balanced. I think we're gonna go. Okay, this is spooking me out. I think it's just a reskinned Revenant. Okay. If that's true, then we should be good, because we've got a choke here. <laughs> Excuse me while I just focus up for a bit. Oops! Oh, that was a fat hit, too! Dang. Well, that'll happen. Oh, now the music's really loud. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a sweet spot for the balance of the music for this. Very cool, though. But yeah, I think Ancient Aliens is the only WAD I ever played, and so this one as well now, where the custom enemies didn't turn me right off of the WAD. Like in Scythe 2, I love Scythe 2, but those flying fire baron things, those things can just screw right off. They're way too tanky. There's no reason for something to be throwing like 20 Mancubus fireballs and 10 Revenant rockets at you. It just doesn't feel fun to play against, you know? You're just ducking behind cover and out again. And not in a way that's kind of fun, like with gunners, because they're so thin. Yeah, you're playing the cover with them, but you're just popping back once to hide and then you kill them. Or if you spot them first, you just delete them before they see you, right? That sucks. But, uh, 
Man, with those like big ifrit things, I don't know what they are. And Scythe too, you just, you can't pop them if you see them first. There's no getting an advantage, you just, you're just playing cover forever. Oh, cool. Whoa, it's temporary? That's nutty. Damn, that's really cool. It kind of reminds me of Valiant with the, the light bridges. Okay. I guess we'll hit this guy. I do have some shells, so we're gonna pull the super shotgun. Oh, it's these guys again. I wonder if it's always these guys. So we gotta be... We gotta be really careful. Because, yeah, these guys die fast, but they also deal just a stupid amount of damage. Oh, and I see I got caught on the wall right there. Oh, man, okay. Hold on. A little bit of health. Oh, and there's homers. Okay, we take down the ones that are down on the ground where we are. I see some more coming. Oh, well, they can all get down here. Oh! <laughs> the infinitely tall monsters. Come on. I gotta make up for yesterday. Nice. We gotta get the exit. First try. Okay. See you. See you. Oh, I hear you. Oh, and there's an Arachnatron. I hope that's it. I love the purple plasma, too. That looks great. If that was just a permanent patch for Doom, I would be down. Okay, we went that way, so we're going forward here. Wish there was a little more health and ammo. And it's about, what is that, 47 more guys? Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous now. I feel like I'm close. I'll have to do it all again if I die. All right, what do you got? Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, ooh. oh, I don't know how I didn't take damage there. Did I take damage there and I just didn't notice? I, I feel like I didn't take any damage when he shot me. Was he hitting the other guy? I guess I'll take a look when I... Oh, I dodged the wrong way. Oh, it's always left, right, left for those guys. Don't be a sealy bealy like me. We got another button, now we've got, like, 37 guys. Okay. <laughs> we might not make it out of this one, just so you guys know. Got some health here. Oh, this is like a big arena. Okay. Just gonna wait for those fireballs to pass. Take out the pinkies. And then we'll run it and gun it. Okay, we've got these boxes to hide behind. Oh, this is a big room. This is a really big room. Okay, we'll come down. Just gotta keep moving. Whoa. Because we don't want to get killed by homers. That was a fence. What? Oh, I just ducked in real life. That's how invested in this I am right now. Okay, I just saw the button. I don't want to hit it yet. Is this a glitch? Oh, is it? Is this ice I can see through right now? <gasps> what? That's so cool. Man, this is dope. The artistic direction of this wad. Wah, very cool so far. Okay, he's in fighting. I'd like to ditch these homers. I take it that's damaging floor. I've got 18 rockets that I didn't know about. Why did nobody tell me? You guys are jerks. are tough hit tough shots okay let's go <laughs> just do this playing it safe playing it very cautious I value my life okay so I'm I take it that oh do these cables lead to the switches we're supposed to hit that's cute very nice stuff I wasted a ton of health there come over here. So I don't know where this other secret is. I'm gonna have to go on a scavenger hunt after this. Ba -da -da -ba. It's over here. Nothing. More translucent ice. Okay. We've only got 13 guys left. This is where we could die. Oh. oh man, those things freak me out every time. I just don't have instincts for them. Because they're not doom monsters. Okay. 
line up this shot nice. Whoops. That was on me, I admit it. Oh crap. <laughs> Please hit this, thank you. Is this everything? I think this is everything, right? We'll probably just leave through there. What? Ugh, oh, wrong gun. Nice. Okay, ditch these losers, or did we just? We did. And that's everybody. Okay, so I'm just gonna go snooping around for the secrets, and then we'll come back. I assume we can go back. If we can't, I might have to no clip again. And I guess if anybody has a problem with that, let me know. And if in future I miss a secret, I'll just play the whole level again and try to find it. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so I, I see the soul sphere here. First clue. And if I'm looking at the map, I can see that hallway kind of turning this way. So there must be right there. Easy peasy. Look at that. A flawless performance by so bad. Okay. Well, there we go. We'll go up in here. I do really like this. How this big structure goes out into the glacier. That is fantastic. Oh, and that huge UFO that I didn't even notice before. We'll drop down. Chill to the bone. So that's a dread op map. That was great. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if some bias is gonna come in because I actually, you know, played at a level I was more comfortable with that time, but man, I love the super shotgun. That's the moral of the story. This was a great wad so far and we've only got three left, so I, I hope you stay tuned and enjoy it with me.